so I'm going to present uh, Sparing Vision, which is uh, a company that was formed uh, three years ago uh, with uh, strong support from Foundation Fighting Blindness, the Public Bank of Investment in Paris. And it's a French biotech based in Paris, uh, which was derived from the work we conducted with Thierry Leveillard over many years in Paris on saving the cones in retinal degenerations. This company is now in an inflection point to conduct uh, more clinical trials and, to, and is uh, about to start a Series B fundraising. So this is the team. Uh, the CEO of France is in, is in the audience and ready to meet with you. And I'm presenting at the invitation of Foundation Fighting Blindness. Just as a reminder, RP is a very heterogeneous disease. You have at least 65 different genes identified and more to come. Two million patients are affected. And because of this large number of patients affected and number, large number of genes, it, uh, it's tricky to be able to target all the gene defects, especially at late stages of a disease. So, so uh, the, the product we have been developing uh, based on academic research is targeting a common pathway, which is the loss of cones in retinal degenerations. We uh, showed that uh, this is a stage intermediate between the effect of a mutation. In most patients with RP, the gene defect is expressed in road photoreceptors. This leads to the loss of the roads. And there is a loss of the cones, which is not directly consecutive to the mutation. And we, we have been working on trying to understand why the cones are degenerating. And this led us to the identification of a trophic factor called RDCVF. Sorry, button uh, that we identified. So, uh, because RP is a road cone disease, and because we want really to target this common pathway, we are trying to deliver this factor, which is losing expression as a consequence of a degeneration of roads, to bring back this homeostasis in the retina, even at advanced stages of a disease, to protect the cones. And this strategy would be meaningful for all patients with RP, even in the advanced stages. So, a few quotations. One is about a disease that is leading to the loss of the roads and not the cones, which is congenital stationary nine blindness. Most of the patients don't even know that they have a disease. The second quotation is work done by Paul Seving already 25 years ago, showing that you can lose 50% of your cones and still have normal, so-called normal vision, normal visual acuity. And even more than that, you could lose 95% and still have ambulatory vision. Uh, at the same time, uh, we, it's clear that if we could rescue the cones, we could help most of the patients with RP, and this is the goal. We identified the mechanism of action recently, a few years ago, we published that, and there was a big comment by uh, Konisepko that this is probably the best approach to uh, protect vision in retinitis pigmentosa. Uh, the control of uh, the, the signaling between roads and cones is really the underlying mechanism, but we found also that there is a, one, the gene is encoding two proteins, a long form and a short form, and the long form is very important for redox control, maintenance of road photoreceptors and cone photoreceptors. So we have developed a synergistic approach, and we published that the two genes, the two proteins together, are very potent in preserving the cones. We showed that the product, which is now in a preclinical, very, very close to clinical trial, is uh, maintaining the vision. This is the red line on the, on the top as compared to all the controls. It's really maintaining the function of the cones. So this is a functional test, the optokinetic test. And uh, at the same time, we showed that the density of cones is very enhanced. So this is now leading to a clinical trial. The product has been developed. The manufacturing is undergoing very efficiently. And we are now finishing the court, of, uh, putting together a court of patients that will be enrolled in the study, the trial being starting next year. So these are the timelines. The company started three years ago, but based on work that started 20 years ago. And uh, the goal is to be uh, in the clinic next year and to have a product by 2025, 2024, 2025. So this is in between the corrective gene therapy and the cell restoration approach like prosthetics or optogenetics or cell therapy. So it's a unique positioning of a product. And clearly, because there is a need to expand to a large cohort of patients, the clinic testing with many mutations. The company is now trying to seek the money to, do, to get the funding to complement that and is available for discussion. I'm an advisor and a founder of a company. Thanks a lot for your attention.